Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the AutoCAD 2008 tutorial series. Uh, glad to have you back. Uh, my name is Jim, and today we're going to be going over the uh, grid, snap, ortho, and regen functions of AutoCAD. Now, I know in our last tutorial I said we'd probably be going over command aliases, but I think uh, I'm going to wait on that. There's a couple of more fundamental features that we need to go over before we get into command aliases, but we'll definitely get into that. One quick note. If you like what you see uh, in these tutorials, please do me a favor and uh, either comment on them uh, wherever you found them on YouTube or whatnot. Uh, maybe subscribe to them. Uh, better yet, if you want to, go to caddies.com and register with me. Uh, that way I can kind of keep you posted uh, when we update new videos and if I make any changes to this site, maybe some downloads or something like that. haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do, but I'd love for you to register and uh, that way we can keep in contact. I'm not going to sell your email address or anything like that, so don't worry about that, but I'd love to have you join. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, let's talk about using our grid. Uh, this has a lot to do with uh, when we set up our drawing limits in the last tutorial. Uh, this is a real good reason why we want to set our drawing limits to something useful. Um, to turn on our grid, go down to the status bar, and if you click on grid, it's going to turn on your grid and you'll see down here in the bottom left hand corner you see some dots. Well, I'm going to zoom in to the, to the limits of my drawing. We're going to get into some zoom commands later on, but right now I'm just going to show you real quick how to do this. If you go to your view pull down, go down to zoom, slide over and go all the way down to all. That's going to, when you do a zoom all, that's going to zoom the window, your drawing window, to the limits of your drawing. In other words, it's going to show the limits of your drawing. Now, when I have my grid on, my grid will be displayed to the limits of my drawing. Okay? So as the limits of my drawing changes, so do the limits of my grid. One reason, or another reason why we like to set the limits of our drawing. Well, what about the spacing on this grid? Well, it's real simple to change. If you go over to your grid button, if you hit your middle mouse button, there will be a little pop-up window, or a window that pops up. If you go to settings, now my settings is us actually dropped off the screen, but if you go down to settings, you'll uh, it'll bring up a drafting settings dialog box. And on the right-hand side, or under the snap and grid, on the right-hand side, uh, you'll see that I've got grid on, and it's got my X and Y spacing. Right now it's set to 0.5 in both the X and the Y, and I've got adaptive grid on. And uh, let me go ahead and switch this to, let's say, 1 in the X and 1 in the Y and hit OK. You'll notice that the grid changes. And now my grid, the dots there, are 1 unit apart as opposed to a half a unit or 0.5 units apart. I'm going to set it back to 0.5. And here I'm going to turn my snap on. Now turning the snap on here is the same as turning it on down here in your status bar. But I'm going to turn my snap on. And that should have been set. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and turn my snap on. And I'm going to make sure my snap setting is at 0.5 as well. I'm going to hit OK. Now notice my cursor snaps to, not to my grid, but it actually snaps to every 0.5 unit or half a unit. I just happen to have my grid set at a half a unit as well. That's why it looks like it's snapping to those little dots. If I want to change my grid, I'm going to go back to my settings here. Change my grid to one unit in the X and one unit in the Y. Hit OK. Now my snap, still set at 0.5, is snapping to every half a unit. And it's snapping between and on each one of those grid dots. Now, these are just little drafting tools that you can use to help you draw. Um, now, that, that way if I'm drawing a line and I know I want it two units, well, I can just go to across two dots, uh, one unit up, two units across, one unit down, whatever I want to do. Probably not the way you're going to be drafting, but it is there for your use. Um, and there are some occasions where you'll find you want to use maybe your grid or your snap, something like that. Uh, I'm going to erase that. Now, one thing I know that you will use, I'm going to turn off my snap. I'm going to leave my grid on, but I'm going to turn my snap off. Um, one thing that I know that you will use is this ortho button. 
what this is going to do is it's going to force you into orthogonal mode and what that is is whenever you draw lines or move objects it forces them to move or be drawn either left to right in the x direction or up and down in the y direction it's great when you're drawing lines and you want them you know straight across to the right or straight across to the left or straight up or straight down you don't want to have to use the uh, relative polar coordinates or anything like that you just want to draw a line that's that's straight up you can turn your ortho on and then when you start the line command start my point right here I can just pull and notice it only goes up and down and left and right and then what's really nice about that is if I pull to the right I can just type in uh, what's called a direct distance entry I can just type in a value let's say 5 and hit enter and it's going to draw 5 units if I want to draw a, a line or continue that line 3 units up I'm just going to pull up in other words pull in the direction that I want it to go type in 3 and hit enter if I want to go 5 units back this way pull in this direction hit 5 hit enter and if I want to go 3 units down pull in this direction 3 and enter and again I'm going to hit enter to close that but again what that's doing is with my ortho I'm not having to uh, draw this line using you know relative polar coordinates where it's you know at five at an angle of zero and then you know at three at an angle of ninety I don't have to do all that I just turn my ortho on start my line command pick my first point pull in the direction type in the distance hit enter pull in the direction type in the distance hit enter pull in the direction distance enter pull in the direction distance and then enter real quick way uh, to draw lines now this also works with moving objects copying objects um, any of those features as well which of course we're going to get into um, here very shortly so that's the ortho um, just click on that to turn it on and off another way you could turn it on and off is just hit your F8, F8 key click on F8 and that turns it on and off um, your grid is F7 on and off and your snap is F9 on and off okay F8 is probably the one that you'll be using the most get used to using that um, I'm gonna go ahead uh, well I'm not gonna erase this yet let's talk real quickly about regen oftentimes when we're working in AutoCAD as we draw objects and move them and erase them and do all this sorts of stuff we'll get some blips or maybe some junk left over on the screen well one way to get rid of that is to regenerate the drawing to do that there's a command called regen and you can at your, at your command line you can type in regen r-e-g-n and hit enter or you can also type in just r-e and hit enter that's short for regen either way what that's going to do is it's going to regenerate the drawing now most of the time it takes less than a second to do that but if you've got a very large drawing it might take a second or two to regenerate the drawing because what AutoCAD's doing is actually redrawing the entire drawing from start to finish it's accessing the in within the DWG file it's accessing, accessing the database and redrawing the entire drawing um, that's good to get you know blips or errors or anything like that out of the way and give you a fresh uh, look at your drawing you know you don't get it as much as you used to um, but we still use regen a lot so again to access the regeneration command or regen command type in R-E-G-E-N at the command line or you can just type in R-E and hit enter that'll do the same thing okay so that is uh, real quickly that's grid snap ortho and regen and I uh, hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something uh, definitely look forward to you coming back and we're going to continue on we're going to get through AutoCAD okay so I appreciate you hanging with me and uh, look forward to visiting with you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.